First off, two things. Number one, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Secondly, click subscribe. The more people that watch, the more cars and trucks I get to share with you. Thanks again. This is why I got up this morning, to drive this truck. Mm -hmm. In this video, I'll get behind the wheel of the 2025 Ram 1500 Rebel. I'm here at the Ridge Motorsports Park in Western Washington to test and evaluate its ride and handling, on and off-road capability, comfort, technology, and overall value, among other things, all in an effort to determine the ultimate outdoor activity vehicle of the year winner. This is a two-day event featuring 20 vehicles with members of my Automotive Press Association. We grade and rank each vehicle by category and then determine an overall winner. This year's submissions included two and three row family SUVs, luxury SUVs, and pickup trucks. I am pumped to take this Rebel on this pavement here at the Ridge to test out its ride and handling, acceleration, braking, slalom, and so on couple of numbers here and I'll get started here in a 060 test in just a moment. This is the 2025 Ram 1500 Rebel and for 2025 we made a lot of improvements to the Ram 1500. One of them is a whole new electrical architecture that allowed us to integrate standard automatic emergency braking and adaptive cruise control. We also are able to add level 2 plus hands-free driving assist. Now each truck gets its own little unique personality, but we also added a tungsten because we haven't quite found the highest level. So really there's nothing that a luxury car has over a pickup truck anymore. We also added the new Hurricane engine, which is a three liter twin turbo six cylinder. Two variants of that engine, 420 horsepower or 540 horsepower out of a three liter engine. So we just kind of do a quick little warm up. Nice speeds, 15 miles per hour, just kind of going around a few cones, get a feel of what it's like behind the wheel. I've been driving back-to-back -back trucks because in this category, we're grading all of them, obviously, but I want an immediate feel that I can share with you between the different vehicles. So with the Ridgeline, Tacoma, Raptor, Ranger, Frontier, they all have their pluses and minuses. The Chevrolet Colorado, which happens to be in front of me. I think I have two more to go to wrap up my, all of my trucks. But what I find in each of these is a difference in contrast between the weight of the vehicle, its immediate takeoff on the line. Stopping distance has been kind of surprising. Um, what was it? I think with the Colorado I had the best stopping distance and the second most powerful vehicle in the truck category here today. I'm expecting this one to probably be better. So as I take off 0 to 60 with, again, the numbers, uh, 420 horsepower, 469 pound-feet of torque. The last truck I did stopped well before the stop sign. I'm trying to go zero to 60, and uh, let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go, boom. Good push. Oh, the Raptor was the one a little bit faster, that's right. 50, 52, and 60. Wow, okay, okay, okay. The Rebel, probably second in command right now behind the Ranger Raptor. Ranger Raptor had a Better acceleration, got to 60 faster, and stopped quicker. This vehicle feels a little heavier than the Raptor, surprisingly, the Ranger Raptor. We'll do a U-turn, a little slalom, uh, some higher speeds, and then go on the track over here at the ridge, which is one-sixth the size of the big boy track. All right, let's feel the more body roll. Feels a little higher, that's probably why. And that was at 30 miles per hour, which is probably not what you would do in real life. But that's what we're here for, to kind of put these things at a higher expectation level. Accelerate on a roll, 40, 45, 50, and we got to 61, 62, okay, expected that. Not a big roar in the, in the engine. All right, let's do some cornering here. 
not so tight with that steering wheel. Other ones bounce back to center a little quicker. This one's a little more relaxed. 21 miles per hour on the corner. Yeah. Okay, there, there's some differences, obviously, with the, the Ranger Raptor and its feel of the road. This one just feels a little, it's waving a little bit, a little bit of a float to it. It's obviously a larger vehicle, though, that's why. Nonetheless, it's a good one to get behind the wheel and test and feel. I am not disappointed, that was good. That was fun, that was educational, and good to do these back to back. Now it's time to take on something a little more challenging. Time to put the Ram Rebel through its paces, and Nick Kappa with Ram is here to join me to talk us through some of this, give us some more numbers, and just have a good old time, because uh, we're gonna have a good old time. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are we looking at here? What's, uh, what's our approach angle? What's our glaring clearance? What are we looking at powertrain-wise? So you've got 420 horsepower to the new Hurricane engines, a three liter twin turbo. There's another variant that's 540 on top of that, but because we're leveraging the power through the transfer case today in four low, you don't need all of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn on the front camera so you can see what's going on in front of you. And anytime you're going up and over hills like this, it's nice to see what's on the other side because trucks are bigger. And you don't have a necessarily as good a field of vision. So we've got that working for us. We also have a locker in the back. So both tires are gonna move at the same speed at the same time and deliver the same amount of torque. You always maintain traction and it allows you to control the vehicle with the throttle through turns. And the last piece of it that's really important too is the tires. We have 33 inch plus tire size on this truck with bill stings on all four corners. So there's a lot working for you. And then the air suspension is one more component that gives you a little extra clearance if you need it. We're gonna go up this hill right here. What I want you to do, Dave, is I want you to stop in the very middle of the hill with the most angle you can possibly get to the truck. And then I wanna challenge you to not slip a single tire. Go ahead and stop here and then come back on the throttle and try not to slip a tire. Oops. Oh, uh, uh, you can do that too. But it, uh, what I was trying to show you is that the truck has so much traction, Yeah. it do, does all the work for you. You very you just creepy crawl. But in four low, you can feel how much power you have just like right off the throttle. Right? Yeah. You leverage all 420 horsepower. You're going to want to beat this guy. So get in it. Get into it. There you go. Woo! Stay in it. Stay in it. Stay okay. In it. So you're ripping through all eight gears because you got four low right now, but you can see because it's a four low, you're going to max out about 47 um, miles an hour. And you know, only for this kind of course, it's good. I want you to stay on the inside of this turn. Turn left. There you go. Drift through that. Nice. So the bump's not as bad. This next section, just after we get past the cones, I want you to stop. And I want you to wait till he's clear. Oh, he's good. Just one second. I make, gotta make sure one of the cameras doesn't fall off. All I think right. we, we hit some pretty good bumps. <laughs> Yeah, that was gonna fall. Oh wow, good call, man. I've dropped it too many times. That's okay. A, that's experience right there. All right. This next section, just past the cones, I want you to get on the throttle. I want you to do about 40 miles an hour through these bumps, okay? Or a little faster, it depends on how comfortable you are. Because at the end, you got the chicane, so you can carry the speed through the chicane and have a lot of fun as you dip into the gravel road. Okay. All right, here we go. This is what you like the most, don't you? Stay in. The truck's built for this. Carry the speed through the turn. Good, 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 good. Nice. So you see now, you you clearly could go faster because that, but because we're in four low, it maxes you out at 47 miles an hour. But you have so much torque on demand. It's just you stab the throttle and those turbos light up and the wheels Dang. go. And in four low and four wheel drive with a locker. It's just so much fun. God, it'd be so much fun. <laughs> if I had more, you know, more experience and more practice with a feel, that I, I had a feel like I could probably continue drifting there with that. I think you probably could carry a lot more speed through there. That's, um, but that's a that's a good opener too, and it's going to have a different throttle response if you're four high. But it is just something that you know about the truck. It has all those different varieties. <laughs> it came off again. <laughs> Rightfully so. It earned. All right. 
So we'll use the front camera again here because this is one of those moments where you get up and over something. Here's you have the longest wheelbase of everything you're going to drive here. So it has the potential of scraping over this, but because you have so much ground clearance and big tires, I'm not even going to bother raising the air suspension system. I could bring it up about another inch, but we don't really need the clearance here. There's not a whole lot that challenges this truck on this course. I'm glad I did this one last. <laughs> I, I, I'm going through all the trucks and this happened to be the last one. I'm glad it was last. Because yeah. after this, I would like to be embarrassed for the other yeah. ones. <laughs> I want everybody to have fun. I don't want to break it, but I want, every, I want everyone to have fun. But the course is actually pretty good. Yeah. The way it's set up so that people can do just that without too much risk. That's my video for today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it really helps support this channel. See you next time. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up.